Hello, Elizabeth Boland. Hello, Raza Sainadine. So we are at Gudrun and Eva's farm with milk cows. And unlike most other farms, they actually fence in the house and the car and some of these utility buildings. And the cows are in the exclosure, not in the enclosure. They're outside what is enclosed by the fence. Yes. And we just came back from some of the forest trails here. Emerged from a cow trail. Yes. Where they've the been grazing deep in the forest. Um, Possibly the camera can pick up the sound from the, the cow bells. They're now all the way, all of them seem to be over there. Yeah. Behind the house. And what did Gudrun say about uh, when they come back, that it's a democratic process, negotiation? Yeah, because they're milk cows. So they're milked every morning and every evening and they spend the nights in the, in the barn. Yeah. So morning milking is easy. They're milked and then it's released the out or rather pushed out of the stable because and they're a bit reluctant. To slowly leave, yes. Yeah, encouraged to leave. And then they come back of their own accord in the evening. Yeah. And in summer, of course, it's light until 10 or so. So they often don't come back until 9 or 10 in the evening, Gudrun yeah. said. Sometimes even later. Sometimes even later. Um, and so they decide when they come. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a very democratic model of uh, existence yeah. and milking. The cows have a say. Yeah. Yeah. So here we can see that they've grazed a lot here, so they don't need to use the, the lawnmower. So all the area yeah. around the house and everything gets grazed by them. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of potatoes growing there. Yeah. And apples.